Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, the movie that ends this long nine movie Skywalker saga and the current trilogy. Okay, where do I start? Well, The Rise of Skywalker follows the story of Rey, Finn, and Poe Dameron's journey once again after the events of The Last Jedi, where they face the First Order for the final time. Meanwhile, both Rey and Kylo Ren, or Ben Solo, must face their inner selves and make peace with their past. You know, talking about these big movies are always really hard because a lot of people have very strong opinions about the movie. You know, some people might strongly agree or agree, some people might strongly disagree. Especially with these movies, the Star Wars franchise, with a uh, franchise that, like the Marvel movies, have such a huge following all across the world. A lot of people follow Star Wars like a religion, in a way. The fan base is just huge. As an example, like, before the movie started, like, when the iconic Star Wars sound started, like, a lot of people in my theater were, like, clapping and cheering, and, and this, like, this never really happens. Like, rarely, like, ever. Like, never even... It never even happened, like, during Avengers Endgame, like, Nobody at the theaters that I go to ever claps or cheers or whatever. And this just shows that people have, people are so passionate about the Star Wars movies. Well, I for one was never a huge Star Wars fan. I never watched the original movies. Maybe I have, I don't know. Like when I was really young, I watched them, but I, I don't recall a time when I was a huge fan of Star Wars. But what got me watching this movie, like, I originally hadn't planned on watching this movie or The Last Jedi, but what got me into it was the game. <laughs> the, the game that came out this year, the Star Wars game. Can't remember the name of it, but honestly, that was, the, that game was like, even though I wasn't a big fan of Star Wars, I still wanted to try that out, and that game actually made me feel like a Jedi warrior. Like, it was so good, and I recommend that to everyone, even if they're not interested in Star Wars. Even though that game wasn't perfect, it was amazing. And it got me into kind of wanting to learn more about Star Wars, I guess. I did watch the movies of the current trilogy. I watched The Force Awakens because of a friend, and I honestly really enjoyed that movie. And I watched The Last Jedi a day ago, and I, really, I actually kind of enjoyed that one as well. And I mostly enjoyed those movies because of the story, the action, and the emotion within those movies. But honestly, with this movie, with Rise of Skywalker, I honestly didn't feel too much of that. And I honestly gotta say, I kind of agree with the early reviews. Like, I feel like this movie was kind of underwhelming. I felt like this movie was very controversial and as like I don't feel like this movie was anywhere close to as being good as the previous two movies. For the most part this movie to me just felt like a wild goose chase. People just traveling from place to place and it honestly didn't feel like too much really happened in this movie. Some things also didn't really make sense and it's, it's hard to say what like without spoiling but as an example, like, someone would get mad over someone, and then in the next scene, they'd be perfectly fine. And, you know, it kind of doesn't make sense. A lot of things in this movie from, like, a, like a decision-making point of view, and also a character point of view. My favorite thing to watch, though, throughout these three movies and this one as well, was Kylo Ren's transformation and development as a character. I thought Adam Driver was just amazing. He, he plays the role so well and honestly is probably my most favorite person in the current trilogy of Star Wars. Or favorite actor, I should say. However, I feel like most or all of his development in this movie could have been put towards the end of The Last Jedi. And honestly, I feel like that would make The Last Jedi a better movie and also make his development kind of fast, I guess, because this his development in this movie was kind of slower and less impactful, like, if you watched The Last Jedi. I kind of wish I saw more of Rose as well. Like, she was a very integral part of The Last, Last Jedi, and honestly, she was pretty good. I thought she played a really good well, a really good role in that movie, but she hardly got any screen time in this movie. 
personally, I still enjoyed the previous two movies a lot more. I feel like they were more emotionally and uh, more like more emotional and emotionally impactful and just more exciting, I guess. <laughs> it really feels like this movie should have been a really like more impactful movie and since it was like the last movie in the series and the nine like the long nine movie Skywalker saga but it really didn't feel that way I would not I would definitely not recommend this movie for someone who's just trying Star Wars out you know like someone who's not a big fan who just wants to get into it I would definitely not recommend this movie I feel like you would hate this movie because there's so much so many things that tie into this movie from the previous two movies. I honestly probably wouldn't even recommend this movie to someone who has seen the last previous movies, who have who isn't a huge fan of Star Wars. But honestly, just see this movie anyway, because uh, you'll find out what happens. Like that's it, you know. Without seeing this movie, you don't know what happens. You won't know if you like it or not from your perspective. You probably won't like this movie as much as the previous two movies, but it will still be kind of fun, I guess. I'm going to give Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker a B minus. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Have you seen Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker? What did you think about it? Please leave a comment on your thoughts below. I'm really interested in what the actual fans think of this movie. Like the video if you liked it and sub if you want to see more. Also, feel free to check out my previous video. Until next time.